Apache Battle Helicopter Are you curious about one of the most formidable battle helicopters in the world? Look no further than the Apache, a multi-role attack aircraft used by several countries around the globe. How does the Apache fare in combat situations? How has it evolved since its inception in the 1970s? Meet the American AH-64 Apache. It is a force to be reckoned with boasting a nose-mounted sensor suite for unparalleled target acquisition, night vision systems, and a 30mm M230 chain gun ready to fire at a moment's notice. Its four hard points can carry a deadly mixture of AGM-114 Hellfire missiles and Hydra-70 rocket pods, making it a formidable presence on any battlefield. With its exceptional combat survivability, the AH-64 Apache is a true game-changer in the world of attack helicopters. The Evolution of the AH-64 Apache Helicopter It all started with the Model 77, developed by Hughes Helicopters for the United States Army's Advanced Attack Helicopter Program. The YAH-64 prototype first took flight in 1975 and beat out its rival, the Bell YAH-63 to be selected for full production in 1982. After McDonnell Douglas acquired Hughes Helicopters in 1984, the production and development of the AH-64 continued, ultimately being introduced to the U.S. Army in 1986. And the rest, as they say, is history. With over 2,400 AH-64s produced by 2020, this powerhouse of a helicopter has become a staple of modern military operations worldwide. From humbling beginnings to a symbol of military might, the AH-64 Apache has certainly come a long way, taking the world by storm. From the United States Army to multiple nations across the globe, the AH-64 Apache has made its mark as a go-to attack helicopter. With Greece, Japan, Israel, the Netherlands, Singapore, and the United Arab Emirates all operating it as their primary attack helicopter. The Apache's reputation speaks for itself. Built under license in the United Kingdom as the Augusta Westland Apache, this helicopter has seen action in some of the world's most intense conflicts. American AH-64s have played a vital role in conflicts in Panama, the Persian Gulf, Kosovo, Afghanistan, and Iraq, while Israel has utilized the Apache in military conflicts in Lebanon and the Gaza Strip. British and Dutch Apaches have also seen deployments in wars in Afghanistan and Iraq. Operational History The AH-64 continued to see action in various conflicts around the world. During the U.S. invasion of Afghanistan in 2001, AH-64s were used extensively to hunt down Taliban and Al-Qaeda fighters. They also played a key role in the 2003 invasion of Iraq providing close air support to ground troops and engaging Iraqi armored units. In 2011, the AH-64 was used extensively during the NATO-led intervention in Libya, attacking ground targets and providing reconnaissance support. The AH-64 Apache helicopter was used during Operation Iraqi Freedom in 2003, where 31 Apaches were damaged and one was shot down in an unsuccessful attack on the Iraqi Republican Guard Armored Brigade near Karbala. By the end of U.S. military operations in Iraq in December 2011, the U.S. Army Apache fleet had accumulated more than 3 million flight hours since the first prototype flew in 1975. However, the DoD audit released in May 2011 found that Boeing had frequently overcharged the U.S. Army for routine spare parts in helicopters like the Apache. In 2011, the U.S. Army began fielding the AH-64D Apache Longbow, an upgraded version of the AH-64A, which included improved sensors, better weapons, and increased survivability. The AH-64E Apache Guardian, which features even more upgrades, including improved engines and communication systems, began entering service in 2013. In addition to the U.S. Army, the AH-64 is also used by several other countries, including the United Kingdom, Japan, Israel, and the Netherlands. Built to withstand anything. This attack helicopter was designed to withstand even the toughest of hits, with the crew compartment and rotor blades able to sustain a hit from 23mm, 0.91-inch rounds. 
The airframe includes a remarkable 2,500 pound, 1,100 kilograms of protection and features a self-sealing fuel system to guard against ballistic projectiles. The aircraft was also designed to meet the crash worthiness requirements of MIL-STD-1290. With increased structural strength, crash worthy landing gear, seats, and fuel system to minimize crew injuries and fatalities in the event of a crash. But the Apache's resilience doesn't stop there. The helicopter boasts an impressive vertical rate of climb of 1,775 feet per minute, 541 meters per minute, and a service ceiling of 21,000 feet, 6,400 meters, on a standard day. Even in hot temperatures, the Apache's performance remains impressive with a reduced vertical rate climb of 1,595 feet per minute, 486 meters per minute, and a service ceiling of 19,400 feet, 5,900 meters, due to less dense air. Unmatched power and precision. With a four-blade main rotor and four-blade tail rotor, the AH-64 Apache is a true engineering marvel. Its crew sits in tandem with both the pilot and co-pilot, Gunner, capable of flying the aircraft and performing methods of weapon engagements independently. At the heart of the AH-64's impressive performance are its two General Electric T-700 turboshaft engines, delivering unmatched power and precision. These engines feature high-mounted exhausts on either side of the fuselage, with British service models using engines from Rolls-Royce. And the best part? The Apache only continues to improve with age. In 2004, General Electric Aviation began producing more powerful T-700 GE701D engines, rated at an incredible 2,000 horsepower, 1,500 kilowatts, for AH-64Ds. The AH-64 Apache's advanced design and unmatched performance make it an essential tool for modern military operations across the globe. What makes it unique? The IHADSS also includes a monocular display for the pilot, which provides aircraft flight data, weapon status, and targeting information. The display is projected onto a transparent visor in the pilot's helmet, allowing the pilot to access important information without looking down at the cockpit instrumentation. This allows the crew to keep their heads up and maintain situational awareness during flight and combat operations. In addition to the M230 chain gun, the AH-64 can carry a variety of ordnance on four underwing hardpoints, including rockets, Hellfire missiles, and Stinger missiles for air-to-air -air defense. The Apache also has the capability to carry AIM-92 Stinger missiles, which are fired from pods mounted on the stub wings. The AH-64 Apache is designed to operate in frontline environments and can perform in a wide range of weather conditions and lighting scenarios thanks to its advanced onboard avionics and sensors. In 2014, the U.S. Army began adapting its Apaches for improved maritime performance, adding extended range radar, software adaptions to handle maritime targets, and Link 16 data links for better communication with friendly assets. And Link 16 data links for better communication with friendly assets. Additionally, new targeting and surveillance sensors were being developed to replace older imaging systems, providing higher resolution color imagery with longer ranges and a wider field of view. The AH-64E dominates the modern battlefield. As military technology advances and the nature of warfare evolves, the need for advanced weapon systems that can adapt to highly contested and complex battle spaces is crucial. Enter the AH-64E version 6 Apache, the most modern configuration of the Apache battle helicopter specifically designed to dominate in the multi-domain operations MDO, ecosystem. The Apache can also carry external fuel tanks and can be equipped with Stinger and AIM-9 Sidewinder air-to-air -air missiles. The AH-64E initially lacked the ability to use the Stinger, but the capability was added back following a South Korean demand. The AH-64E can control unmanned aerial vehicles for aerial scouting missions and has four levels of UAV interoperability. Boeing has developed a small laser weapon that could be used on the Apache to destroy enemy communications. 
The AH-64 has successfully completed testing of the MBDA Brimstone Anti-Armor Missile and is fielding the Spike NLOS missile for greater standoff capabilities. As we conclude our discussion on the Apache Battle Helicopter, it's clear that this aircraft has played a significant role in military operations around the world. With its advanced technology and impressive capabilities, the Apache has proven to be a formidable weapon in the hands of skilled pilots. With that said, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also, please press the bell icon so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.